Hey guys, welcome to RainKingRecording.com. Thanks for checking us out today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that's the most important part of your session, uh, your hard drive. If I have a client coming in here, I make sure that they get a good hard drive. It's very, very important for a lot of reasons. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of going over to Walmart and getting a cheap drive, or going to Best Buy and getting a cheap drive, and thinking that it's going to be adequate for what they're doing. Um, this is your end all be all if you lose this you start from scratch so it is very important that you don't skimp on your hard drive you need a good hard drive you need a hard drive that's designed for recording um, and most hard drives out there aren't designed for that they're designed for storage if you they're not designed to have a lot of data flow back and forth uh, these drives are there's a, a couple companies out there like Avstore uh, that's my favorite uh, there's also Rockstore which is really good LC is really good um, OWC makes those, the Mercury Elite uh, products. They're really good. Uh, Glyph makes good products. There's a lot of companies out there, but for a lot of technical reasons, Avstore is, in my opinion, the best. Um, and you always want to have a master and a safety drive. You know, these aren't impervious. They're really good, but if you accidentally drop them or somebody spills a soda into them, or I've even seen these uh, these drives crap out on people. Um, you know, you need to have a backup, and you need to backup often because you can lose everything pretty quickly. Um, so let's go through this. This is the Avastor um, HDX portable hard drive. Um, let's look at the back here. There's a couple uh, reasons right off the bat why I like these better than most drives. Um, just like Rockstore, instead of having some weird power connector where if I lost it, I'd have to, have to call up the company and uh, have them send me it, it's just an IEC connector, which uh, most studios have tons of these lying around. Um, and we have four different uh, IOs. Um, there's two... Firewire 800 ports, a Firewire 400 port, and a USB 2.0 port. You don't want to use the USB 2.0 port if you're using this for recording. If you're using it for storage, um, that's fine. But even though USB 2.0 is technically 480 megabits per second, uh, a lot of tests show that Firewire, which is 400 megabits per second, is actually faster. And there's a lot of technical reasons. I'll put a link to a website down there. Um, down in the uh, comment section so you can kind of see what the technical differences are but you really want to avoid using the USB if you can uh, it, it will work it it usually shouldn't give you any problems but it actually can use up clock cycles so if you're on a native based system that's not Pro Tools HD uh, you, you can lose a little bit of processing power um, so I, I normally use the 400 port uh, but I, if I can I use the 800 port I've never really had a problem with the 400 port unless I'm getting up into sessions with over 50 tracks um, Sometimes it has a problem if there's a lot of edits and stuff like that. Uh, another thing, if you notice here, this is only 160 gigabytes. Um, it's really important that you don't use huge hard drives on your sessions. Uh, a lot of people are tempted to go out and buy a terabyte hard drive and just put all their stuff on it. And there, there's a couple different reasons. I like to use them, uh, use smaller hard drives because you really don't need all that much space for one session. And if you, each one of my clients has two hard drives. Uh, they have their master and their safety. And it doesn't make sense to have a huge hard drive that just get, it will get cluttered up with a bunch of different stuff that, you know, and you start losing things in the process. It's not really worth it. Uh, the other problem is when you start to get into bigger hard drives, unless they're up to 10,000 RPM or 15,000 RPM drives, um, when they start to get full, you know, over 300 megabytes, uh, gigabytes, um, you have issues with seek times and you can get some different kinds of errors. With Pro Tools, you'll get DAE errors. It'll see, say like DAE negative. Uh, DAE negative 90 something um, so it's important to make sure you don't use huge drives uh, one of the reasons I like Avstore is that you can still make small drives this is the smallest drive they make it's um, it's 160 gigabytes and uh, you know it's everything I need I've got uh, one client on this drive um, and there's still plenty of room for a couple other projects if I ever needed to do that but typically I do one project at a time so we have I think there's five sessions on this and we might add another one if we need to uh, and then his safety is in the uh, is uh, over in the storage area there uh, another thing about Avstore that I really like is they come with these really great cases um, if you're carrying your drives around and moving around a lot to different studios uh, or shipping your drives you want to make sure that they're safe obviously so, let me open this up here, and you can kind of see the inside of it. Um, so, the drive would sit here, and the cool thing about Avstore uh, is that it comes with every connector you need. It comes with an IEC cable, um, it comes with a Firewire 400 cable, Firewire 800 cable, 
uh, a USB 2.0 cable, and it also comes with this cool little stand, which I really don't use too much, but I keep it. Uh, and sometimes they come with stickers. Sometimes they don't, but the stickers are nice because you can kind of just document everything that's on that drive, and and you know, it's, you put your client's name, your sample rate, all that kind of information uh, can go on there. So that's the case, and, uh, and this is a hard drive. So guys, thanks for checking us out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment area. And make sure you check us out online at RainKingRecording.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at RK Recording and take a look at us on Facebook.